Mo Ying and another one, Mo Yang and Mo Ying. Does this distribution remind you something? What is this? Is it prenatal bagua? This is the basics of everything in Chinese philosophy. And they apply this distribution to the world's wisdom, to philosophy, to architecture. This is the basics of how it's called the architecture, the style. Feng Shui. This is the basics of Feng Shui. Astrology uses prenatal bagua. And now we'll see how we can apply it to what we learn. Please tell me, what is the young of the young? What kind of nature is young of the young? What we say? Mm -hmm. The sky. Yes, the heaven. And what is the yin of the yin? The earth. The next tree ground is called lake. Look, on the solid nature, a soft water. This is how to remember it. The next tree ground is related to fire. And look at the tree ground. It's very young on the side and very soft in the middle. When you burn your finger, or if you want to burn something on the fire, you usually use the outer side because it's hotter. But the inner side, inner, inner place, is not as hot as the urges of the fire. The next one is the thunder. The thunder is more noticeable on the earth, on the bottom. The next tree ground is related to wind. Look at these two strong bars. On the soft earth, you will see two strong bars of wind. This is how we remember it. And now look at the, oh, this is a mistake. Yeah, we should correct it. So what is the next tree ground is related to? Two yaws, very soft, yin and the bottom. And yin on the top, but the middle is very strong. It is water. Water is very soft, but the current is so strong. It's very difficult to fight with water. And the next tree ground is called mountain. the mountain. mountain. It's a big, strong mountain on the Mother Earth. So we have the interpretation with the nature of each and every tree ground. Okay, so now we have a Chinese Bagua, a prenatal Bagua. And let's see how we can apply it to acupuncture. According to your TCM knowledge, which acupuncture channels relate to wind? Nina. And? Gallbladder. And gallbladder. Let's put it in a different way. Gallbladder and liver. Which acupuncture channels related to the nature of thunder? Pericardium. Pericardium. 
and and Sanjiao. And now, guys, we're coming to understanding that Sanjiao and gallbladder, if we connect them, you can see the symmetric line here. How do we call the channel? Sanjiao and gallbladder. Shao Yang. This is Shao Yang. And the balance method says that Shao Yang treat itself. Shao Yang treat itself. So Sun Jiao will treat gallbladder and the gallbladder channel will treat Sun Jiao. On the opposite side. The old Chinese book called Neijing says treat as far as you can on the opposite side. System one, opposite side. What it means? That if we have pain on Sinjiao channel, for example, carpal tunnel syndrome, knowing system one, we know that gallbladder will treat Sinjiao channel. What are we going to use? Mirror or image? Treating carpal tunnel syndrome. Mirror. Mirror. Why? Because we want to project limb to limb. Gallbladder goes through the limb. Sinjiao, carpal tunnel, is on the limb. So if we use mirror, do you remember the principles of how we do the balance method? Yes. Let's repeat three steps. Step number one. Find the sick meridian. In this case, Sanjiao. Step number two. Find the balancing meridian according to system one, two, three, four, five, or six. You know system one now. So according to system one, that will be the gallbladder. And step number three. Find the points according to image or mirror we use mirror here if we mirror the for example left arm to the right leg and let's say the problem is between Xinjiao three and three and a half so which points we will choose on gallbladder meridian Gallbladder 42. Gallbladder 42 and 43. 43. Absolutely. And as soon as you put the needles into gallbladder 42, 43, you use ashy points. You palpate and see for the ashy points in the gallbladder 22 between gallbladder 42, 43. The pain will go away. Let's redo this bit. So, if the pain is between Sinjiao 3 and 3.5, and which points on the gallbladder meridian you will palpate? Between 42 and 43. Between gallbladder 42 and 43. And those will be ashy points. So, you palpate carefully. And those points that are painful will be... Uh, the needles will be inserted. Okay? So, Sinjiao will treat gallbladder. Okay, and now let's imagine that someone has a pain on gallbladder meridian. Let's say uh, around gallbladder 24. And diagnosis in acupuncture way will be pain on the rib cage around gallbladder 24 and Dr. Tan always said don't be afraid to say that this is the diagnosis in acupuncture way so according to step number one we know the meridian which is gallbladder what is the step number two corresponding. find the corresponding meridian which is according to system one is Sanjiao. 
What are we going to use? Mirror or image? Image. Why? Because he transferred trunk into the arm. Absolutely. We project the trunk onto the arm. Would it be direct image or reverse image? Direct. Direct. So if we use a direct image, we should use the points. So we project the arm onto trunk. So the points will be somewhere here above the elbow. Would you agree? It is easy to find the right point. That will work. But maybe we can find something else. Let's reverse the image. So we come to the poppy show. Hello, this is Katya. I'm talking. So where will be gold bladder 24 on the reverse image? If we put the right uh, arm uh, upside down. So that will be somewhere on mid arm on this level. So we palpate. Sinjao points in the middle of the arm, find ashy points and insert the needle. Believe me, the pain will go away in few seconds.